We're looking at XeSOR. Um, on the left we've got a Dell Streak 5, on the right we've got a Nook uh, Simple Touch 6 inch uh, e ink reader with some uh, minor modifications made by Simon Taylor to make XeSOR work for the e ink reader. So I'm going to uh, start up XeSOR on both. In simulator mode, you can see the uh, there's some uh, discoloration here with the color photos and the black and white um, e-ink reader that we haven't fixed yet. Uh, let's take a look at the dialog boxes just so we can compare. Um, they look uh, reasonable in both uh, the left and the right. I'm just going to cancel out a, or select each of those. Okay, and we'll continue to the main screen. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play back a file. So I go to, whoops, I go to uh, config, 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 whoops, uh, replay, and I'm going to scroll up. There's good kinetic scrolling on the Nook. It's not quite as responsive as the uh, touch. Here's the March 5th file, so I'll select that. And again, I'll do that on the streak. So a little bit faster kinetic scrolling on the streak. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit more also. Okay. And we'll say start and start. So hopefully these two flights will be synchronized. And what you can see is uh, it'll take a second or two for the planes to get going. Well, it's doing, let's do uh, some zoom out on the nook first. It's pretty responsive. Zooming out on the streak is a little more responsive. I've got uh, t topology turned on and terrain turned off. The terrain display is not working on the nook yet. Uh, presumably it could be made to work if it, if we were to change the color palette so it's a little more gray oriented instead of color. So now we have the takeoff uh, was triggered on both devices. We're taking off to the southwest. So you can see the uh, pan or the uh, the panning adjusting on the two uh, screens together. I'm going to increase the playback rate to 10x on both. Ten X, ten X select. I'm trying to keep the two uh, screens synchronized. Okay, now the task is started on both. And you can see a little bit of ghosting on the nook. Um, it's it's very dim uh, ghosting. Uh, I'm not sure you can see it on, but you can see there's some uh, little bit of lines. Now I'm going to go back into regular mode, uh, regular speed, to try to uh, get, let's see what it's like in circling. So I'm going to go 1x, 1x, select, select, close, close, and um, I've got circling nor everything is north up on this I'm pretty sure even with thermaling I'm not sure how the nook would respond to uh, to track up or to uh, to uh, anything but north up I'm not sure if it would be responsive enough to do a rotating screen or not It'd be an interesting test I'll do that at a later date I guess So you can see the little planes are responsive. Um, let's uh, I'm gonna move into the sunlight now. I pick up my little chair, and it's uh, it's about noon here in August, and uh, about 11:30 actually. And let's see how these guys look here. I've got the sun uh, a little bit to to the left. 
can see the shadows are uh, are there. And right now, uh, the, I can see a little reflection in the streak. It's clouds. It looks like kind of a nice soaring day almost. I'm going to stand up and block that reflection. I'm wearing a white shirt. Um, and you can actually see a little bit of the reflection of the camera. Maybe I'll try to aim that down a little bit. So the reflection's a bit of an issue on the nook. It's not an issue at all on the... Uh, I'm sorry, the reflection is an issue on the streak. It's not at all an issue on the nook. Okay. So again, let's do zoom out to at zoom in. Sorry. Oh, and you can see there's our thermals. And we'll do zoom in here also just to see the colors. Uh, and they're very uh, comparable. The, the Nook is a brighter screen. There's no question about that. Um, But you can see on the uh, streak we have a color uh, vario trail, and on the nook uh, it's only able to do that via. Uh, I guess we could. It could have gray. There's I think believe eight gray uh, levels of gray on the nook, and um, yeah, there's a different color right there in the trail, um, and the thickness of the trail is also. Uh, Used. Let's try thermal assistant. See how that looks. Where is it? It's info, I think. Info. Info. Okay, thermal assistant. Info. Info. Where did it go? Info. Info. Thermal assistant. So now we're seeing the thermal assistant on the nook and the streak, and uh, I guess usable on both. You can see that the nook is responsive um, at our one mega one megahertz uh, one hertz refresh rate. Um, so that's about it.